All right, hey everybody, it's David Kramer, the Critically Thinking Christian, and today I want to talk to you about hell and the lake of fire. Uh, I want to talk to you about what I consider the nonsense of hell and the lake of fire. Uh, the first thing I want to do is talk about if this uh, God is real and if he created both hell, which from what I understand in the Bible is like a waiting room, uh, before judgment and then afterwards it says it will be lifted up and cast into the lake of fire which is final judgment um, if this God created both of these places where you're pretty much going to be tortured from the time you die throughout all eternity uh, what kind of a God does that I, now, for years, I believed this because it was biblical and it's true, and that's that's what happens if you don't believe in Jesus, if you don't believe in his death, burial, and resurrection, boom, you're going to go into that lake of fire. But after a number of, you know, well, after a number of times where I sat down and I thought about some of these Bible verses and some of these doctrines. This one here is one of the dumbest and most evil doctrines that I can think of. You live, say, 80 years on this earth, and you don't believe in Jesus. You try to live the best life you can, okay? And like everybody, including Christians, you're not perfect. But you say stifle, okay, you have discipline over that bad nature of what you want to do, okay, uh, of uh, the negative in your life, and you try to be more positive, and you actually have a pretty good impact, and, you know, people, you know, talk kindly about you when you die, but because you didn't believe in Jesus, you go into hell. To await uh, the final judgment where you're lifted up and then cast into a lake of fire forever. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, God said, I have a plan and if you don't follow my plan and believe in what I want you to believe, then you're going into hell. I'm going to burn you forever. You will be tortured forever. And it says the smoke of their torment will go up before his throne forever and ever. God will get glory out of your torment and the torment of most of the people that he created. Most of the human beings on this planet. It says in, in the Gospels, that Jesus said that uh, uh, there's a wide path and there's a narrow road, and most will go down the wide path to destruction. But he also said, well, now hell was only created for the devil and his angels. Because this omniscient God just didn't realize that all those humans that he was going to create we're also going to go into hell, except for a small portion that had faith in, you know, what he claims to have done. Um, that is totally asinine. I know, and, and we, I have people that I don't like. I have people that, if I would have a chance, I beat them to a pulp. But I'm not going to take them into my basement and torture them over and over and over and over and over because they disobeyed me and they screwed with me. You know. But <laughs> what you got to think about here is this. God also created sin, which is so bad that it don't matter how old you are. I mean, just say... Uh, you're a child, 
And in the Bible, uh, there's this age of understanding. And say your age of understanding, where you can understand uh, how to get born again, is age seven. At age 11, you die in a car accident. Let's just say that, a car accident. Now, that 11-year-old child is going to be tormented forever and ever in hell and the lake of fire. That's right, because of sin. I mean, God created sin, didn't he? He created this uh, horrible... Uh, I, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, I guess you could call it like a parasite that infests mankind and, and turns us into evil people. And it's that bad that if you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to suffer forever. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, angels, come over here. Yeah. Oh, what, what do you got there, God? Why, well, I created this. My God, what is that? <laughs> what is that indeed? Why, it's sin. And I'm going to foist this upon mankind, and if they take of this fruit, boy, they're going to wish they didn't. Yeah. You know? <laughs> My perfect plan. Just think about that, mom and dad. If you had a child, if you're a Christian and you had a child, and that child never got born again, and that child was past that age of understanding, to God, that child is no more than, a, than trash to be burned. And it's going to glorify him that that child's burning. Even though he's a loving God and he's just and holy and righteous and perfect. <laughs> Don't worry about that. You know, if someone asks you about your child, you can say, eh, he was just a piece of crap anyway. And since he didn't get saved, he deserves all the pain that he's getting. Because God never does anything wrong. You know, let that sink in. That is if hell and the lake of fire are real. Now, I was just watching a video, which, I mean, I see correlations in the Gospels and even in the Old Testament where you can see evidence of other mythologies being used and maybe twisted around in a way to make it more Jewish or more Christian, you know, or just taking it and adopting it totally and saying, well, this is Christian or this is Jewish. With hell and the lake of fire, uh, just think of this. The ancient people, like the Greeks, the Greeks in their mythology have a, in the underworld, there is a river burning with fire. You know, kind of like uh, in this video I was watching, Mount Etna in Sicily. It's, <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, I forget what the volcano's name is. Yeah, that would be down that way. I'm, I am, you know, south. That is south. Uh, in Hawaii. I forget what, Kilauea? Or, is that it? Kilauea? Where the lava comes out like a river. In Mount Etna in Sicily, the lava comes out like a river. How about that, huh? The, the ancients saw that. And they said, well, there's got to be a river of fire down there in the underworld. Okay? In Egyptian mythology, they have a lake of fire that is fed by, I think it's four braziers, which would be these big cauldrons that is the and guarded. I, I don't know. I think it, in this video it says that, but I think it's guarded by four baboons, <laughs> which, you know, that's real. I believe that. But they have this lake of fire. 
And during the reign of Ptolemy, he took captive a number of Jews and took them into Egypt. And they became Hellenistic Jews. These Hellenistic Jews adopted, you know, they became, they adopted the mythologies and stuff like that. You know, could it be that some of these Hellenistic Jews came in contact with Christians, became converted to Christianity, and brought this mythology into Christianity as it was in its infancy and growing, and Christianity adopted this mythology? Because in the Egyptian mythology, there's a Apophis. I think it's A-P-O... P-H-I-S or a pep. Apophis would be Greek. A pep would be uh, Egyptian. He's a serpent deity that is, uh, you know, he brings chaos. Well, that's funny. There's a serpent. They call him the dragon, the serpent, the snake in Christianity that we call Satan, who, however, in Old Testament in the Tanakh, he seems to be more on the side of God working for him. And in the Old Testament with the, the Tanakh, you don't see a hell in a lake of fire. When it speaks of hell, it's speaking of like Sheol, it's speaking of the grave. But anyway, you have Apophis or a pep. And he is a serpent god who is totally chaotic. He is enemy of the sun god Ra. And he is cha bound with chains and thrown into a lake of fire. Huh. And in Revelation, we have Satan being bound with chains, thrown in a bottomless pit, and then when he's brought out after the subsequent war, he is cast into the lake of fire. You know, so there you have, you know, whether, you know, hell and lake of fire are real, if they are, this is an asinine, really horrible way to deal with people who don't accept uh, what you do, what you uh, want them to believe. I mean, I like, I do, I don't, I guess you could say subscribe to reincarnation. Uh, the Jews have, uh, they, they believe, I guess, I, I don't know if they believe, some believe in reincarnation. Some, some do believe you go into what is a, like a hell, like a, a, a torment, but it's not fire where you're burning in torment. It's more you're remorseful, you regret. You get to a point where you repent and you're uh, purified. So you can enter into God's kingdom. Uh, reincarnation, some people say, well, that's you're getting away with you know what you've done. No, not really. Just think of this, Hitler. Hitler you know, killed uh, by proxy through his rhetoric and everything. He had all these people killed, millions of people. Well, if he dies and is reincarnated into, I don't know, let's say he's reincarnated, reincarnated into a human that is just totally impoverished. A hard, hard life has to work hard but during that life he just becomes you could say a better person where he's not angry at it he accepts it and he does his best I'd say he's being uh, and you know that in some countries there are people that oh man you know they live hand to mouth and you know they they earn just uh, 
just a stipend and they can they subsist on very little I mean like I said I don't subscribe to that but that there'd be better because it actually gives you a chance it's not well that's it you didn't accept what I wanted well you're gonna burn so there there's there's some there, there's my thoughts on hell in the lake of fire uh, I'm gonna take get that video and I'm gonna put it on in uh, up in one I don't know where wait a minute maybe up here on no no wait a minute it's normally on that side yeah like right around here so I'll put that video there because that was very interesting that when I saw that I was like well there you go you know that's that's how people in ancient times thought. That's why the Greeks said, oh, well, look, there's a river of fire down in the underworld. That must be where the people burn. So there are my thoughts, you know. Um, if you see this video, let me know what you think. Uh, but like I said, I consider hell and the lake of fire an eternal torment uh, for us, for those who don't believe to be a real horrible asinine idea and if there is such a thing this God should go into it himself and burn for eternity so that's all I have for now this is David Kramer the critical thinking Christian and I'll be back <laughs>